Okay, so here we are. We decided to fix our LG front loading washer, which is making uh, jet engine sounds as it was in the spin mode. Did some reading, discovered it was the bearings, and watched the video, felt comfortable about everything, did all the steps to get the drum out, and ran into what seems to be a very, very common problem. We could not get the inner drum out. It was wedged into the bearings. Did exactly like they said in the video where they just kind of tap it a couple times on the end with a nice soft rubber coated mallet and it just pops right out. Well, I was whacking ours like crazy. Couldn't get the thing to budge and finally decided to get physics on my side. So here's how I got it out. One, I needed leverage. So I set up this thing here with four cinder blocks and two one by fours that I could mount the outer tub on, the bottom of the outer tub, and just enough clearance for the inner tub. That was one thing I did. The other thing I did was I really needed more mass than that rubber mallet. So I decided to buy an idea from Thor, and I got this nice three pound heavy sledgehammer and it just took a few hits on the end and I tried it with the board first still didn't get much and I gave it a few whacks on the end directly didn't cause any damage that I can tell and that thing just came straight out further was able to use the same sledge to knock out the bearings so we're in the point now where the new bearings are in and I'm ready to start assembling this thing again but that's how I solved my problem, using physics. A uh, much, much heavier hammer to hit on the end there and set this thing up nicely so I could get some good leverage as I was hitting. One last word of caution, I would recommend using heavy work gloves, which I did not, and I whacked the thumb on my left hand really, really good, but I think I'll live. In any case, I'm very excited about getting this back together and getting our washing machine working again.